And right now we are learning more disturbing details about Diddy's sex trafficking investigation from wild sex parties to sex workers. The allegations against this music mogul are shocking. Local 10's crime specialist Bridget Matter is live with more. Bridget. So usually we do go live outside of Diddy's home, but today we, along with all other media, were thrown out of the neighborhood. Diddy has not been seen in the public eye since the raids on his homes in L.A. and here in Miami. On Monday, federal agents raided Sean P. Diddy Combs' multi-million dollar mansions in L.A. and Miami. It was carried out by the Department of Homeland Security team that handles human trafficking crimes. A number of electronic devices were seized. While Diddy has not been arrested, a key member in his entourage, Brendan Paul, was while with Diddy at Opelika Executive Airport. Paul is facing drug charges after police say he had suspected cocaine and marijuana laced candy in his bags. He is named as Diddy's drug mule in an updated 98 page complaint against Diddy and several co defendants, including Diddy's son and actor Cuba Gooding Jr., filed by music producer Rodney Jones. The scathing document mentions Miami 66 times and claims Diddy's $20 million Star Island pad hosted drug fueled sex parties with sex workers. It says women were sometimes recruited by Jones from the booby trap on the river using exclusive bad boy hats like this one worn by Jones and Paul. It goes on to list at least eight alleged sex workers visited the Star Island home 32 times between November 2022 and May of 2023. We going up, we going live. Jones claims Diddy is an enthusiastic drug user and it was required all employees, quote, from the butler to the chef to the housekeepers to walk around with a black Prada pouch or fanny pack filled with cocaine, GHB, ecstasy, marijuana gummies, and Tusi. The black pack, like this one Paul is wearing while holding two pill bottles on a yacht. The rap mogul has denied all sexual misconduct allegations brought against him in five separate lawsuits. Diddy's plane returned to the Opelika Executive Airport on Wednesday, but the 54-year-old rapper is nowhere to be found. His legal team also called those raids a witch hunt. We do want to stress Diddy has not been charged as of right now, and he is free to travel. We're live in Miami Beach. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.